Hey guys, it's Barrett with the Gimpy Camper. I'm coming at you today uh, for some tips on cooking food while you're backpacking in the backcountry. Uh, for obvious reasons, that's harder to do than it is just to take a camper full of food uh, with the fridge and everything, mainly because of weight. It's just the way it is. So you gotta be conscious about how much you bring and what type of stove you have. There's different stoves, there's wood burning, you even cook on a fire, it just causes your stuff to be kind of black your pots and stuff um, so if you really want to be lightweight you can always just set your your pot in a fire the option that I choose is a pocket rocket style stove that's it in an MSR pocket rocket um, it's about $20 on Amazon it's made by a company called eTech City I've had it for about three years I've been really happy with it and then you have your uh, fuel canisters now your fuel canisters, the, one of the big downsides of this is you never know exactly how much fuel you have, uh, but one can should last you a few days. But I never knew this before my last trip because I was going to give it out and just weigh it to see how much it weighed versus an empty one versus a full one. But on the side there's a diagram, and on the diagram, oh the sun's messing us up here. Yeah. Anyway, if you put this fill sink up with water and you put this down in the water, the level where the water line is is how much gas is left in there. To use one of these stoves, you just screw it on the top of the fuel canister. And I'll go ahead and apologize for the dog. I've had to start the video twice because she starts growling. Hopefully she won't this time. We are expecting some company. Oh, and there she goes as I'm talking. So after you put this canister on the stove, you just open up the prongs here, and then you gotta flip the top open to give you a larger surface area to put your pot on. Then all you have to do is turn the gas on and light it. I like this one because it has an igniter on it, kind of like a grill. So you turn the gas on, and you just push the button a couple of times. There you go. Turn it off, you just turn that sideways. Um, and then to put it up, shouldn't be too hot because I just had it on for a second. You just fold these around, flip them over, unscrew it off of the canister. What I usually do is put the lid back on the, the gas, the fuel canister. I don't think a lot of people do. It's my OCD. And then the stove has a box here that it goes in to help keep it more weatherproof. So you just put that down in there. And then I take my pot. I have a stainless, or it's not stainless steel, it's titanium. It's an expensive pot because it's lightweight. Um, so I have a titanium pot. It's made by Tokes. I've been real happy with that too. You stick the stove down in there. I also have a uh, pot holder that just goes on your fingers so you can pick it up when it's hot. So that stays down in there. Then the lid goes on here. And all of that goes down inside the carry bag that came with, I'm not sure if it was this cup. I think it was the, the cook kit that I had before. It just happens to fit right on it. So, no, it was this because it's got a Tokes label on it. But nesting is your friend when you're backpacking. So, all that goes in there, so there's just that in the fuel canister the only other recommendation that i would have um, usually if you're backpacking i'm not doing it a lot this trip because i'm doing a keto diet so it's harder uh, because a lot of backpacking food is full of carbs and i'm not allowed to have hardly any i did bring some one uh, mountain house meal it's scrambled eggs with bacon i just heated it up here um, it still has eight grams of carbs, which is a little higher than what I try to have in a meal. But if you do dehydrated food, which by the way usually tastes pretty good until you've had it for like three days, it's really hard to get this out and stay halfway clean. So the one big recommendation that I have that I didn't add till later is a long-handled spoon. Uh, this is a long-handled spoon that I got from Amazon. I mean, they're kind of expensive because this is titanium too, but it fits all the way down in that bag to help get the stuff out, keeping your fingers all clean. 
cleanliness is, is a big issue. Trust me. By the way, when I said a lot of the Mountain House meals are good, the scrambled eggs with bacon, they're not for the faint of heart. I've not felt the best today. This might push me over the edge. I just put some on a low carb wrap. These things are horrible.